fitness trackers, great way to keep track of your steps and also keep an eye on your heart rate while you're working out. But according to a troubling online forum, they could also be helping people track something very different, their drug use. Get this, one Reddit user explained how he used his fitness tracker to monitor his heart rate during cocaine use. Even posted his heart rate graph in the thread. Another user wrote, drugs are basically the only reason I wear a fitness tracker. Then went on to say, I want an early warning system for when my heart's going to explode. There's even a YouTube channel with over a half a million subscribers, guides people how to use illicit drugs safely. And you know, this, this is one of those you, you don't use illicit drugs safely. You can't. No, that, yeah. that's an oxymoron. I mean, we know that, that there have been many, many cases of young people using cocaine or other stimulants, not knowing that they had some sort of congenital heart Absolutely. issue, and yeah. boom, that well, the, was their demise. You know, I do want to bring into the conversation cardiologist Dr. Jacqueline Ubani. You know, th this is scary to me because even if, let's say you're taking cocaine and you have the perfect fitness tracker and it tells you exactly where your heart rate's going, I'm sorry, but if your heart rate starts spiking, what are you gonna do about it? If you're, like, that's what kills me here is this whole concept that you're tracking your heart rate in a healthy way from doing drugs. Talk to us about that. Yeah, so it, this, it's a very complex issue, really. Because, you know, in both situations, you know, when you exercise, your heart rate goes up and when you take you know, drugs, your heart rate goes up. But the, the physiology of both of them are, are very different. That makes it beneficial in one situation and detrimental in the second situation. So for instance, when you exercise, your heart rate goes up and your oxygen demand goes up. So all your organ system want, they want more oxygen so that you can continue exercising. So your body compensates for this by dilating the blood vessels. So your blood vessels get bigger, you get more blood flowing and more oxygen. So you have this balance between oxygen demand and oxygen supply, which is beneficial. On the other hand, when you use stimulants like cocaine, it causes a, a, a surge in the adrenaline system, and this causes rapid rise in blood pressure. And also, your heart rate does go up, and you do have an increase in oxygen demand. But cocaine causes your blood vessels to constrict or get smaller, so you're not getting enough blood and oxygen to your body. So you have this mismatch where you ha need more oxygen and you're not getting that. So that plus other deadly effects of cocaine contribute to all of the side effects that we see uh, as a result of stimulant use. Dr. Boni, isn't it also not just your heart rate, but your rhythm absolutely. that's affected by these medications and that's what's so da dangerous? Uh, yes, absolutely. So it's not just the number, but the rhythm that you're in. Because, you know, we have two kinds of rhythms. You have benign, non-life-threatening, fast heart rhythms, and then you have deadly, fast rhythms, like, you know, the ventricular fibrillations and the ventricular tachycardias, where you drop dead suddenly and mm -hmm. unexpectedly. When you're, when you're exercising, you're more likely to be in, to have the benign, fast heart rhythms, and, you know, you have a balance in your oxygen supply and demand and everything is good, but when you're using stimulants, you know, you're more likely to have the malignant, deadly, rhythms where you can drop dead suddenly unexpectedly, unpredictably. So the, you know, these devices cannot tell you which rhythm you're Well, in. and the short-term risk is obviously then death. 